breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Suspected IPOP ESN members attack Himo police station with bombs killed two officers. Suspected IPOP members attack Himo police station with bombs killed two police officers. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read to this news. Gunmen suspected to be members of the indigenous people of the Afra, Hypo, and Eastern Security Network ESN have allegedly killed two policemen during an attack at Isu Divisional Police Headquarters in Himo State. The State Police Public Relations Officer CSP Mike Abatam, who confirmed the attack and death of the two police officers, in a statement said, The gunman struck at about 11.30 p.m. on Sunday, shooting sporadically, and thereafter detonated an improvised explosive device. The statement reads, on 28 February 2022, at about 2330 hours, armed men, suspected to be members of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Hypo, and Eastern Security Network, ESN, in their numbers came in two Toyota Sienna buses, a Toyota Camry car, an unspecified number of motorcycles attacked the station from the rear axis because the station has no perimeter wall, shooting sporadically through petrol bombs and improvised explosive devices, IED, that ignited the station. The police operatives of the division immediately responded by engaging the hoodlums in a gun duel. Due to the superior firepower of the police, the hoodlums were dealt a hev- were dealt a heavy blow, and they scampered for safety, running in different directions with various degrees of gunshot wound. The gallant police operatives did not relent. They gave the hoodlums a hot chase and while escaping, some ran into Golden Suited Hotel and Isu Villa Hotel respectively. The two hotels were immediately condoned and raided and in the process, a total of 12 motorcycles without identification numbers and two vehicles, one Lexus RX350 SUV and one SUV Lexus RX330 SUV, believed to have been used by the hoodlums, were seen and recovered. Also, 17 male and a male suspect were arrested and undergoing interrogation. However, the fire and improvised explosive devices, IED, affected some vehicles and part of the building of the division. And unfortunately, two police officers paid the supreme prize, while one sustained minor bullet injury on his head. The Commissioner of Police, Imo Command, CP Rabiu Uzaini, PSC, while consoling the families of the officers who gallantly lost their lives, appealed to the good people of the state not to allow terrorists to use their communities, hotels or houses as a meeting point to converge for any nefarious activities. He then advised them not to relent in their effort until all criminal elements and their partners are apprehended and made to face the wrath 
the full wrath of the Lord, and thanked Imolite for their continual support and collaboration by giving security agencies, especially the police, credible and timely information and to report any person seen treating bullet wounds or hiding within their communities to the nearer police station from prompt action. Kai Delhi had also reported our Nugu State Commissioner for Land, Chidi Aro, was attacked by gunmen who killed his two police or oddlies while returning from a, meet from a meeting in Nanabra State. Gunmen suspected to be members of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, and Eastern Security Network, ESN, have allegedly killed two policemen during an attack at Isu Divisional Police Headquarters in Imo State. The state police, the state police public relations officer, CSP Mike Abatam, who confirmed the attack and death of the two police officers in a statement, said the gunman struck at about 11:30 p.m. on Sunday, shooting sporadically, and thereafter detonated an improvised explosive device. The statement reads, on 28 February,